Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are working on the Tacoma. If you guys remember in a previous video, I talked about five modifications that every Tacoma owner should have. Today, I'm installing number five that I talked about that wasn't on the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and install this small accessory that's gonna make a huge change. I got this package sent to me from Last Fit Auto Lighting. I'll have all their information down in the description below. These are new LED headlight bulbs. That is something that I have been waiting to do on the truck because the projector beam headlights are just really not that good. I have LED fog lights and the ditch lights, but the stock headlights are actually dimmer than my fog lights. So it's actually nice having the fog lights on because they outperform the headlights. So this should be a fairly easy plug and play system. Yes. We have the whole module there. Some sort of ballast of some sort. Yeah. Literally it should be unplugged and plugged. Plug. So yeah. Getting into this install now, I don't think I have to remove the driver side headlight. We may have to remove the passenger one. If you come back here, this is the or this is how much room we're dealing with in order to pop that out. And I don't should be fine. I don't yeah, maybe. You just grab it. it. It would almost be easier to remove the this reservoir than take the headlight out. Well, why don't we just start on this side then? And these should be well it shouldn't matter which side they go in. Yeah, I don't think there'd be a left and a right. But we're just gonna have to place this somewhere. <laughs> Pulling out the passenger bulb now. I'm sure it would be easier to take the headlight out, but it, it's a lot more work than it's worth. Looks pretty straightforward. Yeah, so as long as you can get this out like this, there we go. I just have to disconnect this, and I'm probably gonna need a flathead because my finger won't fit in there. Okay, so with that out, this is the stock bulb. I'm just gonna place it right there. And then going to attach the new bulb now, we need to figure out where to put this relay, I'll call it. So this should be plug and play like that. With that connected now, there are three little notches on the inside here that are going to the actual housing that the stock one came out of. So I just need to kind of fish this through and hopefully line it up right. It's very hard to see back there, but, oh, there we go. Just push it and twist it. So we just finished up with the passenger side. It really didn't take that much time. One thing that I also did with this module here, I just loosened up this bolt holding the wiper blade fluid container here and just kind of wedged it up underneath there. So that is nicely secured there. Very easy to do, but we'll go ahead and show you now a before and after. I know it's light time out. We will have nighttime shots here later in today's video. But here we go, Brian, testing out All right. before and after. So we got the white LED fog lights and a yellow headlight over here. They are white and white. It looks you, so much better. If you go back over on this side, yeah. it looks so cool from a, from yeah. a distance. White, white over here, and now <laughs> yellow, white. And That's, I have the white on the ditch lights. Yeah. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna have a lot of light, well, we're gonna see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see later tonight. Later in today's video. <laughs> what, uh, what the differences are. But let's go ahead and start on the driver's side now. This side should be much easier. Of course, I say that now, and then you always do something. All right, so with that one out, we'll go ahead and put that over here. The only thing that I don't know what to do is with this module on this side, we're thinking there's a little hanger back here that we can put it on. For a headlight bulb, this feels like it's very heavy duty material, very all, nice. Yeah, all aluminum, there's a fan built in, that's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah, they have their logo nicely printed on the side, same material on this relay here. So overall, I like the quality. We're gonna go ahead and line up these tabs again, uh, if I can see this time. So so with that in, we just have to plug it in now. So very easy plug and play system. So the way that this end here is shaped, it's not gonna work going around this little hook here. So what I'm gonna do is just place it all the way down at the bottom and just kind of wedge it between whatever wiring this is and uh, part of whatever the back side of this is. So it's definitely not going anywhere. That was a very easy installation to do. Plug and play system, very straightforward. I love how everything is white now on the front. But now let's jump to nighttime and really see how they shine. Headlights. High beams. Headlights. Fog lights off. And then off. Daytime running lights. Headlights. Fog lights. Uh, headlights off. So it is kind of nighttime now. We wanted to get out here in kind of the dusk just to show some differences with the lights uh, with dusk and then obviously with pitch black it's going to be much harder to see the truck. So we just kind of wanted to get out now. We have the drone out there and yeah 
It looks pretty cool from the screen here. I got Brian next to me, but I really want to show you guys all of the lights that I have when it gets to pitch black out because I have all LEDs up front now and I have no light bars. So you'll be able to see how bright everything is, even though I have no light bars technically, even though I have the ditch lights. Just do the fog lights too. Turn on the fog lights? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we got some big bumps here. Heck yeah. It's got washed out a little bit more. <laughs> drive not yet oh there we go <laughs> just got to keep my momentum going in these little ruts here <laughs> we're trying to make it to that mound there kind of get a cool aerial of the truck with the lights I hey, do the ditch lights we're on the side you yeah know? okay see what they look like. so we'll do all of this <laughs> Big old spotlight. nice we'll do all of this again when it gets darker because it's gonna look pretty cool go back to the just headlights okay This could be a definitely a cool new way to off-road, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How am I? <laughs> uh, you should be good. Yeah? Except for this uh, plant we're going to mow down. It's cool. The drone got closer to you as yeah. you did that. And now it's Interesting. getting away. I can see it, yeah. It's, it's very smart the way it's tracking you. Also, this would be a good time to mention the new uh, paint correction and ceramic coating. Oh, yeah. Going through some of these br uh, brush or the brush here. So I'm definitely curious to see how this looks at nighttime. You guys can also get a perspective of the terrain that we're on right now. So when the sun goes down, you can kind of gauge where we are um, at nighttime during the dark. But a huge shout out again to Last Fit Auto Lighting. I will have all their information down in the description below. Very easy plug and play system. And so far, I don't know, well, you won't be able to see from my perspective. Uh, well, we got the drone. <laughs> That's a better perspective. These lights are so much better than the stock lights in the Tacoma. That was a huge complaint that I had, and I know a lot of other Tacoma owners have that issue as well. But getting new... It's going right. Going right? Yeah, we'll uh, avoid. <laughs> you guys can see, this is what yeah. I'm seeing, which you guys are seeing this too, actually. Um, the um, drone can see the headlights really good. Yeah, yeah. that's it's, definitely good. It's clearly lighting the way, I don't know, 50 feet ahead of you, and this is not even pitch black out. Well, I know a lot of Tacoma owners had complaints of the stock headlights and for a relatively inexpensive price under a hundred dollars well now that i've stopped <laughs> you can see the spinning tire yeah. now that i've stopped we need to go to four high just to get through this rut here that is so cool to see from the drone angle So doing that same loop now at nighttime, you're probably not going to be able to see me as well. I have my lights on on the inside, uh, but you know, the GoPro, it won't really pick up the dark lighting. But the goal or the object of this test again is on the outside. So from the drone angle, how's it looking, Bri? I mean, you can clearly they'll see they'll be able to there. see it. Yeah. yeah. What I've noticed with the LED headlight bulbs is they are so much more crystal clear than the stock headlights. They were kind of like more of that yellow lighting that you saw. But my field of view with these lights now almost is much wider. Like I can see to the sides of each side, the front or, you know, left and right, much better than the stock headlights. So uh, real quick, just turn yep. the headlights off. Headlights are off. <laughs> Let's use your brake lights, now turn them on. Yep. All right, so that's headlights. Yeah, and you do fog lights. Fogs. Wow, ditch lights. So that's so cool. So on yeah. the drone, you can literally see the ditch lights doing the side. Now turn them off. Yeah. And I'll be watching this, obviously, <laughs> later. I can't really focus on that screen. And then with your fog lights off now? Yep. 
So let's put on all the lights now because all of them, oops, all of them match now. They're all LEDs, which gives me all this lighting for off-roading. All right guys, so I think that's gonna sum up today's video, installing new LED bulbs in the Tacoma. They make such a huge difference, and uh, hopefully you saw in today's test just how much of a difference they, they were in putting them in the Tacoma. So if you are interested in bulbs, not just for the Tacoma, but for other any other models, definitely take a look at Last Fit Auto Lighting's website. I will have that all down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.